All right, so let's uh, talk about this Ori in the Blind Forest time glitch that enabled me to finish this game in a minute and 14 seconds. It's pretty simple, really. I'm totally out of practice, so I'm going to suck here. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, I got no sound. That's no fun. Ugh. A little too loud. There. Okay. Blah, blah, sinking, blah, blah, blah. All right, so I'll take a look. Leaderboards. Uh, normal, global, speedrunner. I'm still first place with a minute, 14 seconds, five deaths, 43% completion. Now that's impossible. I'll show you how it's done. I mean, the next, this, the next, the next game is gonna come, gonna be coming out here soon enough anyway, so I might as well uh, share this trick with everyone. See the Jinso tree in a minute, six seconds. Sower pass in a minute, 30 seconds. How's that possible? I show you, super game. <laughs> Normal mode, whoop de doo and This might take a minute. Skip the prologue. Come on, big boy. So you start the game normally, blue, blue, blue. This is where it takes the most time, like a minute. But uh, yeah, I haven't played this in a while, so I'm not gonna be any good. Uh, you need some experience, I guess, blah, blah, blah. You might not even have to. Anyway, you just play the beginning like normal. You have nothing. So with this, uh, they force you to do a stupid soloing, but you can't enter the menu yet. Oh yeah, come on, ball boy. You die. So as soon as you get uh, a full experience point, which would be down here, boom. So now you do your save point and you get in. You can do this faster. Um, anyway, once you're in, you want to do the save anywhere glitch. So now you can move while in the menu. So you just play the game this way. If you put your cursor up here, you won't get any trouble. So essentially, the whole glitch is you play the entire game like this. It's a little difficult. It's got its own challenge. Oh, I shouldn't have left it. But anyway. Um, you want to get back in the glitch. Kind of gets hard to see, but if you play the entire game like this, you 
You gotta make sure your uh, cursor is up there so you don't exit. Shit. Anyway, that's basically what you do. And you get back in the game. You can't really see anything, but you can take your time and just do everything as well as possible. And obviously, uh, dying is pretty easy in this game. And if you do die, So we're just going to take our time here, and you'll see that, oh, I fell in that, ha <laughs> ha, oh well, like I said, I haven't played this game in a while, so I'm going to suck, yeah, alright, I know this. So you essentially play the entire game like this. And I remember I did all the shortcuts, such as the Sora Pass shortcut. It was pretty difficult, you know, with the frog trick and then the stone trick to skip the entire. Um, volcano part of the game and the frozen area in the south cutting the game short on top of all this and uh, the phone's ringing I'm not liking this as far as saving on these things I think it's kind of pointless um, Let's try doing a save, and you, you get back right in it. So it's save there, or you can save anywhere using uh, the save anywhere trick here by uh, activating a node, which is useful in many areas. So the time has been passing uh, a lot in the last little bit. I can guarantee you the game is not uh... you just want to make sure your shit is up there. Anyway, this is a challenge on, a challenge on its own because you can't really see much. I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't think there's any point in doing the um, the trick here with the door. Um, I think uh, these new glitches with the save displacement thing each. Never even tried that. Might help in making this game completion with this trick faster but is it really going to help it's hard to say uh, activating a node anywhere will save your game so you don't have to make a save with the uh, traditional way and I just got hit here uh, playing the game this way, uh, we'll skip most of the um, cutscenes by activating a node, since you're already in it. It'll make things a lot easier for that. And you just play the game this way. Don't take your time, really. So let's just save the game with this, and let's quit, and you'll see right away 
that we're a minute 35 and I've been playing for at least five minutes, ten minutes. So that's basically it for the trick. Super simple, a lot of trial and error, and you basically end up uh, in this area with that much time. If you make it to the Jinsho tree around this much time using this trick, you can easily finish the game under two minutes. Uh, no, not that. I've seen on easy this guy 100% completion 2 minutes 55 seconds so I'm thinking he used this trick so it's not uh, a complete mystery I've seen some other guy two guys 4 tenths of a second or 4 seconds I have no idea how they did that. 500 deaths. <laughs> it's kind of insane. This guy zero deaths. It's pretty interesting. I'm not sure how that's possible, but obviously is. But my trick is legit and it works great. And I hope you enjoy it. Try this and try to beat my time. I guess uh, this is on Xbox One. So, that's it. I mean, there's no sense in abusing this trick because, you know, you got some real good people working hard to get these really good times. 15 minutes using more or less legit techniques. <laughs> I didn't, it was just proof of concept really that I discovered. The save anywhere glitch basically uh, stops time in game clock, which is pretty neat. It was just a lucky find. I'm surprised nobody else or not as many people has figured it out. But there you have it. Enjoy. Merry Christmas.